Hi, in this quick video tutorial, we are going to be building a digital clock divider and showing off some of the cool advanced graphing features of CircuitLab. So I'm gonna get started by grabbing a digital D flip-flop here and a clock divider onto my circuit. Now all a D flip-flop does, sometimes called a digital latch, is on the positive edge of the clock terminal here. It's going to grab whatever digital input is at the D terminal and latch that over to the Q terminal. After that latch happens, D can do whatever it wants, and Q is going to hold steady until the next positive edge of the clock when it does the latch again. So I'm going to grab a digital knot here at the top to complete my circuit. Rotate that a few times, and then just drag the wires out to connect my circuit. I'm also going to name some of these nodes here. I'm going to name this node Q, because that's my Q output of my register. And I'm also going to name my clock node here because those are the two things I want to see. Then I'm going to go over to my simulate tab and I'm going to click Q and clock because those are the two outputs that I wanted to graph. And I'm going to run the time domain simulation. So here we have our output. And if I wanted to, I could sort of hide and show some of these so I can see what's going on. But it's not great that these two lines are sort of on top of each other. I want to separate the traces. And we can do that by using the advanced graphing feature of CircuitLab. So I could just hit advanced graphing and this model will pop up. And from here, I can grab my inputs and sort of drag them around to wherever I want to put them. What I want to do is I want to grab my clock and I want to put that in a completely new graph. So I just drop it down here. And that'll create a second graph where I can add more inputs and outputs. I can hide that and then run time domain simulation again. And there we have it. Now we have two separate graphs and we can clearly see my clock voltage here going up and down and my Q, um, the frequency of that Q is half as much as my clock. That's pretty cool. So what I could do if I wanted to, if I could go even further here is drag that out and then grab another register and put that in series with my original one. I'm gonna grab Q and put that over there. Uh, so now I have two registers and this clock now is a fourth of the frequency of my clock. That's how we do it. That is how we build a digital clock divider in CircuitLab. If you have any ideas for other video tutorials you want us to cover in these videos, please let us know in the comments and thank you for watching.